Okay. Oh boy. All right. So this isn't this this didn't work out as planned. We had such a a, a great uh, the set number one was almost flawless in terms of just plugging in and having everything work right. And oh my goodness, I was I was so excited. I had a couple of hours to get some stuff done, and I was all excited that this was gonna come off the way that. I uh, visualized it coming off, and it didn't, of course. So you know what? But you know we're gonna we're gonna do this anyway. Let me just make sure I'm live here. I don't see that I'm live here, so um, I don't know what the hell's going on. What did I do differently? All right, all right. Now I'm seeing something. I'm seeing a big red live, and there we fucking are. Okay. All right. All right. We're live. I think. I think. I think. I think. And I'll only know that we're live by uh, by you guys chiming in on in the chat box. So if you feel if you if if you can hear anything or see anything or not, let me know. I'll turn stuff up. Check. 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 Um, let me get my uh, let me get my volume situated here. I think we're almost ready. I'll, I'll wait a minute or so. Uh, got my phones. Check, 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 check. Come on, that's, it's, everything's quieter today. Check, check. Okay, that's a little too loud. All right. Let's see if we can pull this one off. All right. Hey, everybody. My name's Kevin Seconds, and welcome to the ah, the very first uh, broke down. Broke down famous social social club uh, uh, live stream. The duo we did one today at two p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We had some people show up, and it was fun to rock for and with y'all. And uh, now I'm hoping that this will work. And uh, again, I I'm uh, I'm uh, depending on your your uh, comments to know whether this is uh, the tech technical side of things if this is working or not okay so just you don't have to talk to me or anything but if you would just tell me that i can hear this or i can't hear shit or i can see this or i can't see shit whatever boy i'm already cussing like a whatever well i signed another declaration i want it in on ground floor action Cause I thought it just might buy me comfort Maybe cut in line at stores and airports You never know till the doubts You never know till the doubt starts kicking in Sometimes I hear it even before it comes Sometimes the voices come when I'm alone in the sun Spent some time with paints and pencils. My hand shook, but I had a mission. Sell portraits of angry owls and random dogs that look like foxes. Never know till the doubt starts kicking in. Sometimes I hear it way before it comes. Sometimes the voices come when. Cause I thought it just might buy me comfort Maybe cut in line at stores and airports You never know till the doubt starts kicking in Sometimes I hear it way before it comes Sometimes the voices come when I'm alone in the sun Yeah, hey, that's a song called Way Before It Comes. Um, 
That came out on a record I put out uh, just a few years back, a couple years back. It was my last record called Band-Aid on a Bullet Wound. Band-Aid, Band-Aid on a Bullet Wound. <laughs> Either I uh, am having, you know, I th sometimes I think I, as I get older, I just have a uh, a tougher time speaking. I don't know if that's a common thing or something I should be worried about. I, I don't know. How is anybody here? Hello, hello. Is this thing on? Is this is this thing on? Um, hold on a second, guys. Let me turn. Uh, let me turn that light on. There we go. Hey, Chad. How is it? Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Just wanted to. Just want to make sure we're we're live here and uh, kick it. Now, I will say that uh, this was this is uh, uh, I owe my Patreon folks, uh, the folks that uh, subscribe to my Patreon. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do a Patreon thing, and I know people are weary about that kind of stuff and subscription stuff. I get it. I totally get it. But uh, those of us that aren't like big artists, those of us that are just kind of still wanting to make music and art. And not necessarily uh, live off of it, but just be able to continue. For instance, the studio space. I get more done in this little space than, than I like to admit. And music, it's my recording studio. It's my art studio. Uh, we've got uh, public you know, events booked here. Um, you know, hopefully we're doing stuff that we eventually will be able to be a, a, a great contribution to at least the local art community here in Sacramento. Um, but in order for me to be able to do this kind of stuff, since I have to work a bunch of different odd jobs and part-time jobs and stuff in order to make one big job and occasional gigs here and there, um, stuff like this really helps. So if you're interested uh, in, in supporting that, you can go to patreon.com patreon forward slash Kevin Seconds. This isn't a hard sell for that. that. That will be the last time I mention it. Hey, Ed, how you doing, man? Thank you, bro. Um, I just, uh, the, the point originally was, is that if you're a, a, a subscriber, there's different levels I and mean, you can pay a dollar or you can pay $20, whatever. But, uh, part of it is these live streams that I'm, I'm doing. And, uh, I'll also, I've got big ideas. I've talked to some band member, ex band members, people about doing some cool shit that you can only really get, uh, access to if you're part of the the Patreon thing, so check into it if you want to. But anyway, this is a big free-for-all because I couldn't get this thing to work right. So, hey, that's okay. We'll have more people watching, and I can say hi to everybody. Let's keep the rock going, shall we? Um, well, I don't know how much rock this is, but anyway. This is based on a true story. We're fighting people with our voices and our fists. None of us expect much victory tonight No one is smiling, no one wants to show their teeth Instead we're dancing bloody underneath the light I wore a vest, cause I thought it might be best I'm a rocker but I'm hanging by a thread I represent all the broken and the bent but no one's really saying No one's really playing Round three has started and we're looking worse for wear Yet no one here has got the balls to call quits And as for me, I guess my best days are behind But I don't really see a reason to commit I wore a vest, cause I thought it might be best I'm a rocker but I'm hanging by a thread Yeah, I represent all the broken and the bent But no one's really saying No one's really playing Yeah, alright Thank you very much. That's a song called Broken in the Bent. And uh, this backstory about that, I've told this a million times, but I'll tell you in case you haven't heard. I went to go see, my wife and I went to go see the band X. And if you, if you don't know who that is, then damn you. Damn you to hell. You should. Um, they, uh, they're a great band. Still kicking. They've been playing for like 40 years, I think. And uh, they're a great live band. We went to see them a few years back. And they brought out all the old aging punk rockers and there's a lot of us now i think there's more of us older punk rockers than there are, are younger punk rockers and if anybody 
uh, has the data on that, the science behind that, the math behind that, then, you know, I'm all, I'm open ears. But everybody I know is uh, older, aging punk rockers. So that might be more me than anything else. But anyway, I don't know. I don't like the way this microphone looks in the, uh, in the uh, view. Anyway, let's get political for a second. And at this moment in time, you know, I uh, sort of have stopped the preaching thing. I mean, there's a part of me that sort of it's built in because of my my uh, love for the likes of a uh, Joe Strummer and uh, you know Joey Shithead and Keith Morris, and Ian McKay. You know, it's it's built into us. You know, we feel the need to be able to kind of like express ourselves and share our big grand opinions and, and maybe even have some influence but ultimately you know I don't I'm not here to influence anybody I'm really just here to try to to get to keep things going at, at a pace that isn't too insane and uh, and not hate humanity too much I don't want to be one of those old guys that just hate uh, ends up hating people I have no I know plenty of those and I don't want to be that guy and I know a lot of people based on my social media uh, output think that I'm grumpy and old and I hate people, but I really don't. I, I, I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to get along. On days where we have pulled, we vote to make things great. I wish you'd just stay on and I decide my fate. I call you dumb, you say you're not. We just don't quite see eye to eye. Your narrow view to all you got It's all you have until you die Cause all the likes of you It kind of works it so Once bright but faded face Just like a dimming bowl I call you dumb, you say you're not just don't quite see at eye On empty is all you got It's all you have until you die Just don't quite see eye to eye On that to be with all you got Hey Steph It's all you have until you die I call you dumb, you say you're not We just don't quite see eye to eye Your narrow beats all you got It's all you have until you die Oh my God! Whew. I gotta take a breath for a second. So I just started this job. In case I haven't talked about it enough already on this thrilling YouTube page, a new one of mine. Hey, by the way, thank you. I get to, I get a chance to thank at least the seven of you that are watching right now. Thank you for subscribing. Please stick with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some cool shit as soon as I can just get this thing figured out. The technical stuff. I'm not sure why they do this, but YouTube just seems to make it. Maybe they just really don't want guys like me to do YouTube channels. You know, maybe they just want the kids, the hip kids that are that got exciting, fun ideas. I don't know because I'm fairly savvy on this shit, and uh, just trying to do this from your phone. Now it used to be easy. It used to be way easy, but uh, who just who's that? I can't. I'm trying to read the. Uh, Oh, hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. How's it going, brother? How you doing? In front of me, I can see your guys' tiny little bits comments, but I have to look over at the, the web page, which is there's a slight delay. So if you see me looking over there, tell me to stop because there's a delay and it's going to throw me off and I'm easily confused. I don't want that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm trying to figure this all out. I'm trying to figure out how I can add content that I already have recorded but also do a lot of live stuff. Probably way more in ambitious than I need to be, but, you know, what, what the hell? I'm going to try a new song. Uh, hey, John, how you doing, man? 
Thank you for joining. Uh, this is a song that I recently wrote. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I uh, started this thing early in the year called Songs for Years 2019. It was on Facebook. It is on Facebook, actually, still. And what I did was I wanted to challenge myself to try to write a song for every year that I will be alive this year. So this year, I turned 58. And I said, okay, that means I have to write 58 songs before the end of 2019. Now, I'm not, it's it's insane, it's stupid, it's crazy. I don't know why I, I come up with these ideas. This, I think mainly it's just to keep in practice, you know what I mean? And feel uh, alive. But um, I was going to do it on my own. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to challenge people. I know a lot of singer-songwriters out there. And I said, hey, here's the deal. I'm going to try to write 58 songs Depending on how old you are, if and you know how prolific or not you are, uh, I challenge you to write uh, as many songs as you know what I'm saying. So if you're 30, you would write 30 songs this year. And uh, one of one of our buddies, Kevin Murphy, who was here earlier tonight, he has written. I think he's like 31 or something. He's already written like 40 something songs. I mean, he's gone way past where he needed to be. So. It's pretty exciting stuff, and uh, you can check it out. If, you, if you're on Facebook, look up Songs for Years. The, it's a group. It's like a page. And you can join it, and you can hear all the music that all the different people. But I got a bunch of stuff up there, um, and I had to write 58 songs, and I finally did it. I, 58 was the, the lucky number. I'm still writing a bunch of songs, but now I'm writing it for this Patreon thing I'm doing now. And just for fun. Uh, anyway, this is one of the songs, and I, I, it was kind of a... Joke, a silly, hey, hey, Kev, how you doing, brother? <laughs> right, right as I said your name, he, he appears. This is this is weird. Uh, welcome back. Um, anyway, this song's called 58 is Just a Number. And it's uh, it was all purely for this little fun project that a few of us have been involved in. Came to mind that this project will end soon I'm wasting time, I should get back to it I'm getting close, but who knows if I'll finish I'm bound by this unholy oath I'm glad you're here keeping track of the progress A dozen chefs making food you can't eat You took a bite, said you just couldn't help it Salty, but you dig the beat And heaven knows Impatience grows And 58 is just a number Whatever sticks Will do the trick And 58 is just a number It started out like the bee in a cyclone the rules were clear, but the plan was all frayed. I figured I'd make some songs all about all the people that I have betrayed. And every job that I had but got fired. And every city where my feet have stood. And every fear that has jumbled up my head. Potential was sure looking good. Heaven knows. Patience grows, 58 is just a number Whatever sticks, will do the trick Cause 58 is just a number What a bummer Just a number Whatever sticks Will do the trick Cause 58 is just a number One more time The heaven knows Impatience grows 58 is just a number Whatever sticks Will do the trick Cause 58 is just a number Alright Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My microphone was uh, was uh, limp. And uh, ah, there we go. Hopefully it'll stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. 
Yeah. All right. There we go. Thank you, Blake. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I, I I love you guys. I'm glad you're here. I hope that this is not. I hope. I mean, it's Friday night. I have to question what the hell are you guys doing watching me on a Friday night? But actually, you know what? I would be doing this shit. I love when uh, people I know do these live streams because, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't go out to shows as much anymore. Maybe it's just because I I just I went to so many uh, for the first you know forty years of my life, and and that's not a that's a bad excuse because I have a lot of friends that are pushing sixty who go to shows like three times a, a week or something. So I I really shouldn't say this kind of stuff because it sounds like such an old guy thing, and I don't want to encourage anybody to stop having. Having fun ever. Always have fun. Always enjoy life. Whatever it is that that you love to do, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Obviously, you know, just fucking do it. Don't listen to guys like me or anybody. Don't listen to. Any, I mean, listen to some people, but not everybody. All right, I'm, I got to stop talking. Um, let's see. I'm trying not to do the songs that I did earlier tonight or today. Um, all right, here's one. This is a, this is a funny one. Funny for me because when I wrote it, I was, I was really, 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 really uh, suffering from having a, a really big, big crush on a, a person. And luckily, uh, she found a way to like me back at some point. So that, so you know, it's a, it's a good happy ending, I guess. Uh, this song is called "I'm Stuck On." What if I East to west, bring it on. What's the point? Is the one exaggerate, rectify, eradicate, do or die? But you're the one I'm stuck on. And boy, do I feel awful with these thoughts I'm keeping secret. Yeah. No one to tell nowhere to go to sit here with this secret. Yeah, I might as well just let it go, forget about it. One, two, let's roll. Ooh, 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 ooh. anytime, anywhere, name the place I don't. Get too close and we'll get burned But you're the one I'm stuck on And boy do I feel awful with these thoughts I'm keeping secret Yeah No one to tell nowhere to go To sit in with this secret Yeah I might as well just let it go Forget about it said it wasn't what it once was. Bump. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's a cute little song, isn't it? Isn't it a cute little song? Um, so as I explained for the first set, I have a... Um, I should show you guys this. Well, no, because then it gets, you know, it's like I don't want to give all away, my, like all of my secrets away. It's like pulling back the curtain to Oz, you know. We're at uh, Riving Loom, which is our uh, little art studio, recording studio, art space. We moved recently. We were downstairs, directly down below, which was much bigger. Now we're moved. We've moved into a small space, but it's much more affordable, and ultimately, I think, more fun, cool. Uh, intimate art and creativity can happen in here because it's just i don't know i don't know i thought when i opened it up two years ago almost two years ago that i wanted a uh i wanted a big uh no i didn't no i guess i didn't think that i didn't want a, a big commercial space i wanted something that was a little more high high visibility but i i didn't want that i didn't want it and we had we were on a main road main street and it was uh we had a lot of visibility but it was just not 
No, it didn't excite me as much as I thought it was going to. I liked the shows. We got to do a lot of cool music shows and stuff, but yeah, I think I just want something a little more underground and and uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Does anyone really know what they want? I suppose I suppose some people do. All right. I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a song. This is kind of a. I wrote this. My allergies are driving me nuts tonight. I wrote this a couple years ago, and I forget what record it's on. I've got a few of them now. I actually wrote it uh, for a, a good friend of mine's uh, cat, who I just loved. Her name wasn't Rhonda, but. I was trying to protect the cat's privacy and anonymity, and um, I really loved her. I loved her cat. Really sweet. We got along well. And then uh, I hadn't talked to her in a while, and she texted me and she said, "I'm really sorry to tell you, but I had to. I had to put her down. She got sick all of a sudden. I was like, Ah, oh, no! Come on now, Scott. Hello, my friend." Hola. How's California treating you? You hate it, don't you? You just hate it, I bet. Hey, Rhonda, you were always... Hold on. Rhonda, you were always nice to me. You always got my rugged presence through the door. While all the others rarely made much history. You probably don't know why I wrote this sad song for Cause Rhonda, you're <laughs> Cause Rhonda, you're a better friend than me You gave me years when I could barely see You never pointed fingers even When we both knew I was wrong Oh Rhonda Hey Rhonda part-time pessimist But my best days all depend upon your kiss And I miss your banter and all your anecdotes And the way you fit inside your fuzzy coat But Rhonda, you're a better friend than me You gave me years that I could barely see Never pointed fingers even when we both knew I was wrong Hey Rhonda Hey Rhonda, now you've went and gone away And I never got the chance to tell you everything I feed you tuna just to make you feel okay I hope that when you left you weren't in any pain Rhonda, you're a better friend than me You gave me is that I could barely see You never pointed fingers even when we both knew I was wrong Oh Rhonda, oh Rhonda, you're a better friend than me You gave me is that I could barely see Never pointed fingers even when we both knew I was wrong Rhonda. That song's called Oranda And it's one of the few songs that I actually made a video for I don't really make, um, I don't make videos, you know I don't know why, I like them, I like making them I don't necessarily know that I like them, but uh, yeah Um yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Steph says, I love the stories behind the songs. Let me see if I can maximize this so I can see it a little bit better. Because I don't want to ignore you guys. I, I really, I'm happy that you're here. I don't want to talk. My cat's just gathered around at the mention of a song. About <laughs> well, they know, man. They know. Scott says it's fiery. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah, that's the thing. California, if you grow, if you grow up in California, it doesn't really matter where. You just get used to fires. Big fires every year, and I'm not making light because I know that it's uh, it's awful and tragic. Uh, it, my breathing issues, which I've had my entire life, I attribute to just all of the the various fires that I've 
lived around much of my life. Uh, and, you know, in some spots, you just have to get really used to and be okay with earthquakes, which, you know, here in Sacramento, we don't, we feel them. You know, we get some little tremors, but it's very, very lightweight. How you doing, Aaron? Welcome, man. Uh, yeah, so, but I, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're in California. It just makes me feel much better. I, I loved you, and I, you know, I loved you in Boston, too. For the longest time, you were like the ultimate Boston guy in my, fa- in my, in my mind, but still are, but now you've got the California thing cooking. All right, I'm going to do an old song. we got to get together. I know, man. I know. You were so frantic, and, and I know you were just exhausted and, and crazed when, when we got to hang out for a few minutes when you guys came through town. But I'd love to see you, and, uh, you know, I'd like to go down there, too. I haven't been, I haven't been that, down that way in a while. This is an old one. Maybe some of you might recognize it. I hope I recognize it. Drop acid. <laughs> Pilgrim. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. Pilgrim Zero is what you... Come out for YOT. Are they playing... Are they, are they playing Gilman? Sometimes when I get mad, I think about 
that song's an old one. 1995, Punk Rock Teeth, seven seconds. Thank you for sharing this. You're welcome, Aaron. Thank you for being here. John, welcome. Dan, Dan, thanks, man. It's always good to see you, Dan. Uh, Sweet Rebel Baker, fire. Scott, yeah. All right, you guys, you're the best. <laughs> Wayne says, needed that. I need uh, I need some dental work is what I need. I need to go in, and I've been putting it off. I just, uh, at some point, my dentist, about 15 years ago, I started to uh, save money so I could get, I, my teeth were so bad. I mean, they're bad now, but my teeth were so bad for so many years, and then I, you know, I just, I, I was terrified because I was like, I'm going to go into a dentist, and they're going to look in my mouth, and they're going to make fun of me because I just haven't taken care of my teeth, and I just kept putting it off, but finally it became a health issue. You know, I was getting this, like, these abscess. I was, I'm not going to, I'll spare you the details. But anyway, I saved a little money, and I went in, and I had some friends that actually helped me find a great, great dentist. And uh, over the years, I've just gone in after t- tours where I've cracked teeth and smacked, you know, microphone hits and whatever. And my dentist said, hey, you know what? Why don't you just save yourself the time and money and just come in when you're retired? And that way we can just fix you up, get a nice nice grill for you, you know, nice flavor flav. No, I'm just kidding. That, although, you know, maybe that's the ticket. Just get some, get, get the grill thing and then nobody will ever know. Um, I don't think that's the answer for me, but, you know, who knows. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I got to get back to the dentist. All right, let's, um, let's, do, let's, um, let me see if I got a new one I can, I can, I can throw at you, at y'all. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, this is a new one. And those of you who are, um, I think uh, you guys are part of the red. I'm still getting the tiers of my Patreon thing down, memorized. But I think the uh, red tier crew and up, uh, you guys received three songs this month. Or shit, now last month. Three song downloads. These are all new songs and really nobody else hears except for people that are part of my little but broken down famous, uh, broken down, <laughs> broke down famous social club. That's it. Let me see if I can remember. This is brand new. It's called Coming In Strong. Here we go. I got to get the tempo. All right. There we go. Run while you still can. Guns for every man Been in better shape Don't blame the ones you love They think they know what's best Or think a bit too sure They might just need some rest They say you're coming on strong Like the crowd you watch every day Like the station over the waves coming into your head. Oh yeah, I got, I got, got, got to get my rhythm down. It's kind of dancing. Yeah, so it's like a bump, 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 a you could keep watch if you want something to do. Say I'm out of line for the awkward things I share, like the things I used to eat while I was stationed there. Say you're coming in strong, like the crowd you watch every day, like the station. That's a brand new one, man. Jesus. Wow. 
I love when I get through them, you know, because there's a part of me that is like, I want to stop. I just want to quit right now. They, they, they're going to, they hate me right now. I want to quit. And then I'm like, no, keep going, keep going. And then I do, and I feel better. So let that be a lesson to you, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just go for it, you know? I mean, it's always, you're always just making a fool of you. Anytime you do this kind of stuff, you're just making a fool of yourself anyway. So the good key is to just have fun and, and just hope that it works. <laughs> Well, I guys, uh, well, I have you. I'm gonna spring another new one on you. Uh, I wrote this one. Um, well, as as I do a lot of these songs, uh, I you know I kind of just write them after having uh, conversations over social media, which is you know the thing now, right? I mean, we're we're now having conversations over social media that we uh, we can't bother to have in real life. And I'm trying, I'm trying not to go in that route, but it's just so convenient and. You know, sometimes it's too hot outside or too cold or I don't have any money. And then, you know. There we go. This song's called That's What I Tell Myself. I'm sitting here today without a thought inside my head. A group of folks in front of me all thought that I was dead. It's not because I've been sick or from something I misread I need a break. So I shared a couple stories, silly fables from my past I wasn't sure why I was there, I never really asked Somebody said they liked my band, but we played way too fast and I agree It's true Someday I'll get the courage to retire Maybe someone cool will offer me a job when I die, the world will see I was sincere I was another fucking fraud That's what I tell myself That's what I tell myself I'm busy, but you might not know I'm still in the exist I'd go see more reunion gigs if I was on the list I'd end up standing in the back And taking crappy bits and feeling strange that's harder than you think. So I have to brag about my friends who became millionaires. It's weirder cause I have a beard and Willie Nelson hair. I cut it short and shaved my face but no one really cares, I barely do. It's true. Someday I'll get the courage to retire. Maybe someone cool will offer me a job. When I die, the world will see I was sincere, not just another fucking snob. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. That's what I tell my wife. And thank God she still listens. What a fucking silly song that one is, huh? I just realized I should have said, instead of the line says, someday I'll get the courage to retire. Maybe someone cool will offer me a job. And when I die, the world will see I was sincere, not just another fucking fraud. That's what I tell myself. You know, it's all just like a kind of an inward looking thing. Like sometimes, you know, it used to be where I, I you know, I'd be dead broke. And I'm like, well, at least I have my sincerity. At least I have my integrity. And then, <laughs> wait a minute, you're not Willie Nelson. I wish I, well, no, I don't think I wish I was. Because I, I saw an interview with Willie recently, and he was, it was like he was visibly struggling to breathe. And I was like, oh, man, the, the reality that we'll, we will lose Willie Nelson one day really just kind of saddened me, you know. But uh, I love Willie Nelson. I mean, I, I, I get shit all the time about my hair. I, at this new job I have, uh, now I, I, I get, uh, hey, chief, or... Um, Hey, hey, Willie, how you doing? Hey, Willie Nelson. Like, I haven't heard that about 20,000 times. It was Pippi Longstocking, and that was really annoying. But <laughs> I love that new one. Have you played Shade of Red yet? I haven't, actually. Wayne, let me see if I can pull that one out of my bag of tricks here. I just have to get the chords because I don't – these are these are all uh, new. You know, the new ones I don't have down because I haven't played them yet. I may not have that on here. But, yeah, so, you know, it's just um, – as I was singing, I was singing, uh, 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 just as good a line would have been, uh, 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 never mind. I, it was a thought that came away, and I don't need to, we don't need to go go there. Hold on a second. I don't mean to disrupt the flow of this 
rock and roll show. Let me just get to where I want to find it. Where are my lists, my my lyrics, and my chords? And uh, if, if there was a way to capture all of the different, I write a lot of songs. In case you don't know, if there was a way to capture uh, visually uh, the hard drives and the the burned discs of material. That's just sitting around on stuff. Uh, it, it, you guys would probably just go, "What the hell is going on there?" Because um, I do, you know, I do that all the time. I'm like, "When did I write that song?" I was going through some songs the other day, just just from 2016, and I was like, "I don't remember. I don't remember singing this song. I don't remember writing it. I don't remember the melody." I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but all right, let me see if I can pull. Uh... Well, I'll, I'll I'll save that one for later. We'll do something. Uh do something else and then we'll I'll get back to that I got it up now I got I can see my my chords GD GD all right but we're gonna we're gonna come back to that one let's let's uh let's do this one real quick can you guys hear the uh the airplane all right this one is uh, this is one that was on a record from a few years back the song's called forever try I'm gonna dedicate this to all my hard working I'm going to dedicate this to my, to those of you guys that are parents. I'm not a, I'm not a parent of human children, you know. We got a bunch of fur kids. But uh, those are my friends who raise kids and raise good kids. You know, cuz I mean, anybody can have kids. Um but to have, to to actually help make create great human beings is is like uh, you are the heroes in my eyes. Truly, I mean that. It's very, very important uh, that you that children are raised well, so that we have decent, solid human beings in the future. Even if we're, you know, even if if some of us might not be around, it's still good. So I dedicate the song to you. Uh, <clears throat> me, 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 me. Punk rock Willie. 4 a.m. in Texas. Shit. Can I pull that off? I know. A group of us out on the edge. We're looking for some trouble We're way too young to phone it in We're way too old to start again but Let's go out and get our hands dirty Forever try, forever try Throw caution to the wind, no worry Forever try Forever try, forever try, yeah. Leave browsing to the other kind. Why dive in where it's shallow? Why fret about some peace of mind? Will it become tomorrow? Let's go out and get on. Forever try Throw caution to the wind No worry Forever try Forever try Forever try Here we go Steady, keep it rolling. Let's go out and get our rents dirty. Forever try, forever try. Throw caution to the wind, no worry. Forever try, forever try. Let's go out and get our rents dirty. Forever try.
also for the teachers, the educators, for working hard, making good minds, and not getting paid very much. Yeah. Proud punk rock mommy. Yeah. That's right. Ow! Thank you very much. That's called Forever Try. Whew. All right. What time is it? Oh, shit. We've just burned through the time. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me look at this song. Let me see if I can figure this out. And then we'll have we'll have a couple we'll do a couple of finale, great songs for the finale and then we'll get out I'll leave you guys alone and do something I don't know what I'm gonna do oh I'm gonna work that's what I'm gonna do um thank you Steph thank you all right here we go by request thank you Wayne Careful to stay what I came here for. I had a hat in my hand and I was looking to score. So you gave me a job and you paid me okay. Said I'd get benefits in the future someday. I once fell for your charm. the shade of red when you said I was fine I let you loan me in and I let you run my name but now it's done we'll never be the same oh. 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 Meow. Now I'm working too hard And I'm breaking my back You got me punching the clock Building mountains and stacks And when I get in the night I dream of fortune and luck My body feels like it's done Like it's been hit by a truck your charm and let you waste my time I blushed a shade of red when you said I was fine I let you load me in and I let you run my name but now it's done and we'll never be the same Request from Wayne. Thank you very much for that request, Wayne. Thanks for getting me, uh, getting me to do it because I wasn't going to do it tonight, but I, I need to do these new songs as well. All right. Um, let me see. Do I have anything out here that I can dazzle you guys with before we get out of here? Um, I wish Allison was going to be here. She's working right now, and I, I, I want to get her to do these some of these things with me because we have so much fun singing together. And... Uh, 
<laughs> so I have to tell you guys this funny thing. So I have a, a camera that's set up, a little security camera that's behind me at the door. And it detects, you know, most of the time it just detects strange sounds outside. Or when I, when somebody comes to the room, if I don't, if I have it turned on, it'll, I'll get a thing on my phone saying somebody entered the room. Um, sometimes when I'm recording, because this is my re- recording studio, sometimes I'll forget the, to turn it off, and <laughs> it'll pop up and say, "Dog barking detected." <laughs> I'm not kidding. So it's it's essentially it's 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 li- listening to me. And um, it thinks I'm I'm a dog. That's dog barking. That's that's a really sad sad thing. Anyway, I think I think it's funny. I can't help it. Um, okay, I guess there's nothing really that 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 uh, you guys would be that turned on by here. Um, I was gonna try to find something fun. Pardon the uh, the the uh, quiet. It's really quiet out this way. <laughs> I have a... uh, All right, well, okay. I swear to God, there was another song I wanted to do, and I'm I'm not... It's not on my list here, and I bet... Excuse me, I bet I forgot about it. I was going to surprise. I was just going to surprise potentially one or two of you guys. Um, But, yeah, I don't know where it's at. Oh well, we'll do this again, and uh, we'll we'll have fun. We'll have fun no matter what. That's what it's about. Uh, you're welcome, Wayne. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. All right, let's do so many songs. Yeah, so many to choose from. Thank you. I was ju- that was just in my brain. Like I, I almost had this collapse of thoughts. Like. I think you sound way better. <laughs> You're the best, Blake. Thank you. I hope that would that would be my that would be what I'm going for. If I can sound just a little bit better than a barking dog, fuck it. I I've I've accomplished what I what I've wanted to. Uh, well, okay. I know what I'm going to end it with, so I'm going to do this song and then we'll we'll call it a night. Since many of you haven't heard the, uh, some of you have. You guys have been work. You guys have been with me the whole time during all of these little crazy song projects and my my little Patreon things and stuff. So you guys have heard this stuff. So hopefully you like the songs. But for those of you who haven't, uh, here's some new stuff. This song is called Riot in the Rain. I wrote it, uh, part of it, when I was uh, sitting outside of a little coffee house. It was a beautiful sunny day. And all of a sudden, it got shitty. Really dark clouds. And uh, the clouds parted and unleashed and all of a sudden it was this crazy storm and I had this visual or there's all these crazy well-dressed young adults walking around initially hand in hand riding little bikes and scooters and just being very cool and all of a sudden they were just panicking because the rain came down and in my weird brain for just a brief moment I visualized that uh, the rain had 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 uh, inspired everybody around me to just fucking riot with all the crazy shit going on in the world, they were like, fuck it. No more uh, containing, no more pl- pretending that we're, s- we're sane or normal or happy. Fuck it. We're going to f- fuck shit up. Of course, it cleared up and everybody was back to normal and I was just sitting there going, what is wrong with me? You gave more than you wanted and now you're insane. Feel like all meaning is gone down the drain. You lost all your friends, even ones that you hate. You feel so untethered, oh man, what a state. But this could end with a whimper or a riot in the rain. Let's take a breath and ponder heaven. Let's have a riot. Took quite a while. Your dream was a weird one, but you're in denial. Friend landed on you, you kept quiet a pace. You had something sticky all over your face, but this could end with a whimper or a riot in the rain. Let's take
take a breath and ponder heaven Let's have a riot in the rain But this game Take a breath and find a heaven. Let's have a riot one more time in the rain. But this could end with the whimper or riot in the rain. Let's take a breath and find a heaven. Let's start a riot in the rain. Yeah. Thank you very much. I love this song. Thank you, Steph. I'm glad you love it. I love it, too. It's fun to do. All right. Let's end it all, and uh, let's just let's end it on a high note. We've got a good group here, and I, and I, and I love you for, for joining me. Uh, 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 my biggest apologies to my uh, Patreon folk. Um, I owe you a show, and we'll make it happen. I mean, I, you guys, you know, this is all for everybody. This is all community, and this is what it's about. But those of you that subscribe to my thing, I part of the deal is these live things, and I want everybody to uh, thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. Let's do it again. And uh, seriously, I love it. I love that you guys are here, and and uh, you know, I want to, I want to do it. Uh, I want to do this regularly, and more. All right. I have to end this uh, with with a song from my, my one of my favorite bands uh, uh, on the planet. Um, the cool, th- the the shitty thing was I was in the band and um, we're no longer. But our music lives on and our 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 fans and friends live on. Our community lives on. And this is going to go out to all of the longtime supporters of Seven Seconds and of me and of us and uh, and uh, for making the world hopefully a better place. Thank you for joining me. Well, I suppose solutions can neighbors are like uh what's the dog barking in there what's going on dog barking total singing along that's right i'll tell you a little uh secret it's probably the worst kept secret ever 
at least in the underground punk rock world. But in that part of that song on the record, the Leave a Light on record, uh, when I was writing the song, I initially wrote it on an acoustic guitar, and I was going to just use it for a solo record I was working on. But then I played it for the guys, and they uh, they all loved it. And I think there was talk of us actually doing like a, a, an acoustic version of it on that record, but they were like, nah. So we were rehearsing it, and our uh, our buddy, our producer, Steve Kravak, was with us. He was up in Reno for a couple days with us and kind of listening to the songs and helping us figure stuff out. And he might have been the one that suggested we rock it out a little bit. I don't remember. So we started playing it louder, and it was like, holy shit, this is fun, you know? Um, but the whole time that I was demoing this, I was making the songs down in Sacramento, and then I was sending uh, little MP3s up to the guys in Reno, and they were listening, and telling me what they liked and what they didn't like, uh, singing along also and getting looks from the cats, <laughs> judgmental folks. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That does happen, though. <laughs> I'm wearing a seven-second shirt in my YouTube avatar. Oh, really? Oh, that, oh cool. I'll check it out. <laughs> I, I can so hardly read the tiny little comments on my phone. I'm trying to... Super. Uh, all right. Anyway, the secret is, and it's not a big secret, that uh, I always had it in my mind that somehow <laughs> I want to try to talk Ian Mackay into singing that last part. And, you know, Ian is, it's not like Ian does a lot of, you know, cameos in, uh, in songs. You know, he's done a few things, obviously. But, you know, we're buddies, and, and I love him so much, and he's always been so supportive. And I said, well, you know, I can ask him, and it, it, I mean, he could say, that's okay, no, you know, but it was, it, the more I listened to my version of it, I was like, if I could just get Ian to sing the, you know, live a light on, that'd be wonderful, so it took me like two weeks to email him, and I finally did, and I sent him the song, and I said, would you, would you be into it, and he said, yeah, sure, why not, <laughs> on one condition. He goes, I don't want credit for it. Just, you know, let me be on it, but we don't have to put me on there. And, and I, you know, I was like, that's fine, because I'll know that you're on there. The guys will know that you're on there. And eventually my my friends on YouTube who will be here uh, in the future will will know. Anyway, that's Ian McKay that's doing the Leave a light on. As if you can't figure it out. And I, I've told people that, and they're like, you're kidding me, man. I'm like... Have you listened to it? You can totally, you can totally tell it's Ian McKay. That's crazy. Whoa, whoa. Leave a light on, leave a light on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Leave a light on, leave a light on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Leave a light on, leave a light on. Whoa. On that note, thank you so much, you guys. You're the best. Uh, Wayne, I always thought so. Of course, you can tell. If you, if, if you know anything about Ian McKay, you'll, you'll hear that voice. And it's either a really, really great impression or a or, or bad impression, uh, but it's, it's him, clearly. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, everybody. You guys are the best. I love you uh, mm -hmm. very much. So we'll do this again. Um, have a great weekend now that we're here. And um, we'll see you next time. Okay, be well, be safe, be happy. Take care.